the app manager gets pulled up from the bottom and you can scroll through them just like that. Now if you want to close something you can just flip them up but let's say you don't want to close all of them. You just swipe down on a single app and it will clear everything out except for the one that you've locked. Mm -hmm. To unlock it just press on it again. I'm a big fan of FlyMe 4.0 and it's little things like you can just pull down anywhere to pull down the notification bar. You keep on going, send it back up. Now one of the cool features is Smart Touch. So you can activate this up and actually if you wanted to kind of do that you can also rearrange these icons uh, as you like. But let's just focus on Smart Touch for just a second. So when that's gone, right here where my right thumb would be, there's a floating dot. Now this can pull down the notification bar. If you swipe right, these are the last apps that I had open. So it's like a mini navigation. Let's take a closer look at the settings. One of the things that I very much like about this UI is when you pull down, let's say you have your thumb down there from the bottom, it actually holds it down so you can reach with your thumb. But customization, let's start there. Fly Me style icons, let's just kind of change them over. You can change your themes. Uh, now this is one of the interesting parts that I wanted, that I actually discussed in my written review. Is it a deal breaker that you end up in these Chinese sections? Now you can pretty easily figure this out, right? That that's free, that costs three RMB. Um, over here, I just, you know, figured all this out from clicking around. Oh, I thought this was mine. No, this is mine. So these are the ones that I've downloaded. Here's if I wanted to search. These are different styles if I knew what that meant, but you I mean you can figure it out by the pictures. So to me, this isn't a deal breaker if you want extra themes. If you want to buy the extra themes and pay for them, I haven't quite crossed that bridge yet. So system wallpapers, gallery life wallpapers, everything you kind of expect. This whole giant option of things does not include a settings. And you can easily lose your settings, say if you put it, put them into a folder. So that's just one of my little pet peeves about that. I don't know why they wouldn't include settings in the top notification bar. That just doesn't make sense to me. Anyways, not the biggest deal. Uh, there's Wi-Di, which is cool. Battery. Now, I ran our Laptop Mag battery test on performance mode, and I got just over 14 hours. That wasn't even in power saving. In power saving mode or balance mode, I'm getting two days of solid performance. This is a battery beast. On the test, it did 10 and a half hours and I had 32% left. That's enormous, so it's excellent. So fingerprint scanner, uh, M-Touch, definitely a very cool feature. Uh, one of the things that I've had to do is I've had to enter in multiple fingers, both of my thumbs and one index finger. I've done my thumbs twice because when I scanned them for the first time in Beijing, I think it was a lot colder and Taiwan's a lot more humid. So I actually had to deal with the swelling of my fingers, <laughs> basically, as I think what happened. So the fingerprint changed just a little bit. Now, that's no big deal. Uh, I just had to enter it multiple times. Now, does it get it every time? No. It's about every other time it gets it right off the bat. I have to do it twice, yeah, quite often, which is a little bit annoying. There's a lot in here. Gesture on wake up. So you can double tap the screen to wake up, slide to unlock. Right, so then you have your painting notifications. Now these are from a black screen and they will open up many things. So let's just choose, there's I think eight different options. Let's pick this one, turn it on, and I'm gonna set that to uh, something interesting, like, what did I remember that, that the music player, okay. So now let's just turn this screen off and try that. So there we go, and it opens it up to the music player. So it does work. Big fan. Oh, no settings up in there. Every time it gets me. <laughs> so home touch, you can choose to have it, you know, back or close. Um, oh, let's go back here. Slide right on the lock screen for an application. So you can obviously set your, your lock screen for many different things. Uh, power on and off. And then obviously this is running FlyMe 4.1. So this is, I'm really impressed with FlyMe 4.1.